Okay, um, now we're going to be FTPing into the FTP server that's running on XEX menu right now. We'll be installing four apps and then later we'll be customizing them. So XEX menu is, it's also a file manager and it's got the IP that it gave me, which was 10.7.22. The username is Xbox, the password is Xbox. The first thing we'll be installing is um, Freestyle Dash, which is the main interface that a lot of users enjoy using. So um, let me pull up my JTAG folder here. I extracted this 1.20 um, and it is located here. It's just the folder freestyle. I'm gonna, um, I really strongly recommend that you you look into getting a couple themes. One of my favorites is Xdesk. Um, you can get them from here, spiffy 360com There's a whole bunch of them. Um, and they just go right here inside the, the skin folder. I'll just copy paste that in and all right, great. Um, this freestyle, the folder is going to be going into the root of the hard drive. Um, as far as dash launch, there are there's three components to dash launch. The first one was already done for us by Freeboot Toolbox Maker. It, it actually injected the the main base of uh, dash launch in there. Now there's two files that we need to worry about. The first one is launch.ini, which is essentially a customizable text file that we get to edit. Um, and, and we can choose where to target, uh, what will be opened when we first boot on the system. The other one is launch.xex, and this is a file that has to be injected a special way into the NAND, and that's done by a tool that comes with a dash launch called Flash Installer. So um, let's open up Flash FXP, here I'll disconnect, um, just to show you. Got Xbox, Xbox, connect. HDD1, that's perfect. Let's go to content. I'm oh, sorry, oops, no. Um, that's right, freestyle is going right uh, under the root. Okay, JTAG. And um, I think it's this one. Yeah, all right. So freestyle will go in here. All right, and it's going to copy, paste. Um, in the meantime, I'll, well, that's copying. I'll do some dash launch stuff. Oops, it, it actually comes from that folder, but it's it's in here. So there's two files in here. One of them's info.ini. The other one I already changed this. It's called sample launch.ini. Info launch.ini basically explains what all the different parts do. Um, Right here, quick launch buttons. These are, if you're holding this button when you boot on the system, it loads something. So these aren't real file paths, but it could just be, one could be XEX menu, another one could be a Super Nintendo emulator, another one could be Freestyle Dash if you want. Um, and these are plugins. Right now, these, there really aren't any to get, but there will be in the future. Um, I'm not going to save that. Um, this is our sample launch.ini. I've actually already changed this one just to default. This is what it will be tar what launch.exe will be targeting upon turning on the system is um, hard drive one. It, it's uh, they all have an L in front of them. You could also have it. Um, I think it's it's L USB or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to rename this launch.ini. This is the Flash installer. It's simply a folder. There's two files in here. Um, Launch.xex is what's going to be injected. Default.xex is what will be running on the 360, and it's just a little quick press to with, with the A button to inject it. Okay, so um, freestyle's on there. I'm going to copy in my launch.ini file, like so. I'm going to copy flash installer into the root. Just I can just open it and delete it later. So that's that will copy over. Okay, great. Um, let's see what else we're going to copy. All right, let's uh, install an emulator. So I'll just do the Super Nintendo as an example. We've got in emulators SNES 360. I already extracted it from this. This is the beta. In HDD1, you can have two folders. It can be called either emulators or emu. These are the default places that Freestyle Dash looked into. Um, if you want to customize it on your own, there's a file called config.xml located in Freestyle Base. 
It's just a text file that you can edit. So I'll just use emulators here, SNES 360. Um, this is the ROMs folder that games will go in, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. For now, we'll just copy over the program, like so. Okay, so I'll let that do its thing. Um, let's see what else we got. And Quick Boot. Um, Quick Boot is a program that lets you make shortcuts in the Quick Launch menu. When you press the circle button on your controller, it's the Xbox Guide button. Let's say you're playing a game and you want to go straight back to Freestyle Dash, but you don't want to have to go to NXE and then go to XEX menu and that sort of thing. This way you can just have two quick button presses and get straight to Freestyle Dash. Um, you have to have the .NET Framework 3.5 installed or else you'll get some error about it just crashing. Um, so let's just run that really quick. Uh, all of the shortcuts go in a very specific folder. Um, we already have code 999 in there. Um, however, we're going to make a new folder. This one that has little 7 in there. Um, yeah, actually, should put a little slash right there. Okay, great. Here's Quick Boot. Okay, so this is the target that they go into. I'm going to um, add an entry. I'll call it um, freestyle dash. Uh, interface. I'm going to have it set under freestyle, freestyle dash dot xex. Oh, wait, actually, no, I'm sorry. It just goes right in here. This is what I changed is the executable. Okay, great. And I'll have it um, build that. It should just take a second. Um, it can upload it to my Xbox right now. I'm not going to have it do that since I just like to show you how to do it manually. Quick Boot created its container back here. It's it's Quick Boot 2 content. Lots of zeros. Code 999, 07, and then freestyle dash. So I will FTP this in here. Um, let's go back to content. Oh, oh, oh code 999. So this is the one that's, that's 8. Um, let's make this. One, two, three, four, seven, one, two, three. All right, great. And freestyle dash, we'll just go in here. Oh, and transfer. Okay, that's in. Now is the part where we actually put some games on the Xbox 360. This is ranging from entire Xbox 360 games um, to Xbox Live Arcade games to ROMs, which are for emulators. Um, so the, the 360 is the main one you're going to be focusing on. There is a tool that I forgot to tell you to get. It's called Xbox 360 ISO Extract. As of today, uh, September 2nd, it's, uh, it's version 0.4. You can just find it on Google. It's, it's easily available. Um, you just point it to a directory where you have a ton of ISO files, and it will extract them. Um, it's worth saying that the Xbox 360, you can't just stick an ISO file on there and hope for it to read it. Um, FATX, which is the file system the 360 hard drives use, and FAT32 both have a maximum size limit of 4 gigs for a single file. And since a lot of Xbox 360 games are larger than that, like uh, we got Fallout 3 right here, um, which is 7.3 gigs, so it simply won't fit. Um, what we end up having to do is extracting this and turning it into... Uh, a folder that, that looks like this with an XEX inside of it and data. And every single game is arranged differently. Um, though normally you can open up an ISO with WinRAR and just take everything out, for Xbox 360 games you cannot because we're actually using a file system called XFAT and if you do use WinRAR things can turn out funny. So this is the program Xbox 360 ISO Extract. I'll just open it. It's, I'm not going to use it. I'll just show you an idea of how it works. It's really small. Um, this is a folder of Fallout 3. It's it's from a torrent, and as you can see, there are like 100 RARs in here. Um, so when I take out those RARs, I get this ISO, and then it turns into um, this dot, this folder that I that is Fallout 3. This right here is an Xbox Live arcade game. Um, this is uh, they all have these unique codes, and you can find out what they are on Google. Um, just find one code searched on Google. There's this thing called the Kingsla list. 
Um, it has a list of every single game and you can search them by numbers. It's kind of annoying to have to figure these things out, but that's that's how it goes. Um, so yeah, you'd, you'd pick your target of where the ISO is, then you'd pick where you're going to say that, um, then you just tell it to scan and go. Anyways, uh, let's let's FTP into this box. It's pretty simple. Um, this system only has a 20 gig internal hard drive, so I'm using a 500 gig external USB to save most of the games to. You cannot save Xbox Live Arcade games to an external drive. They have to be saved to an, an internal. Um, and let me let me connect here. Okay, my system's on right now. It's got a. This is the external hard drive I have. I put in games. There's. I just put in a good summary of games, and I um. I also copied Fallout 3 here. Um, I, I FTP'd this over earlier. Just drag, drop. Um, except it ends up taking like 15 minutes just because it's 7 gigs. Um, however, this is the exact place that Freestyle Dash would look, is USB right in the games folder. As far as Xbox Live Arcade games, they go in HDD1 content, all the zeros, um, and it'll just be dropped in here. So let me drop off Geometry Wars, uh, sorry, yeah, Geometry Wars 2, so I'll transfer that. It's only like 35 megabytes, it's really small. The great TP is it goes really fast, so right now it's going at about 8 megabytes a second. Usually it tops out at 10, so bam, Geometry Wars is installed. Um, oh, oops, I forgot. I wanted to add some ROMs to the Super Nintendo emulator. Um, again, really simple, you just have a huge folder filled with ROMs. <laughs> a folder that looks like this. Let me go to... Um, Super Mario, since that's all people really care about. <laughs> um, let's see, Super Mario World, great. So I'll reconnect to my box. And um, you can save your emulators on USB. For, for the purposes of this guide, I'm just putting it on the internal. It goes under Emulators, SNES 360, ROMs, and I'll just drag in Super Mario World and Oh, and uh, transfer that. The last two steps that we're going to do are um, I'm going to just uh, run the flash installer that's on the root of the hard drive, which is um, here. I'll just run it. I'm going to get my camera and film that just so you'll see how it works. And uh, the last part, uh, and, I'll, and I'll test each of the games. I'll show you how a 360 game loads and all that stuff. And um, the quick the quick boot shortcut that we made. And the last thing we'll be doing is running FSD Indexer. It's a program that comes in the Freestyle Dash folder. Looks like this. It's pretty simple. You just open it up. It asks you for the ISP for the IP address of your system, or you can just plug in a USB drive to your computer. Either one works, and uh, it will it will look in the games folder and it'll look up everything. And it's actually pretty cool. There's this whole online database that has tons of screenshots and backgrounds and descriptions of every single game and it downloads all this stuff and so then when you uh, access Freestyle Dash everything looks really nice and it's a really cool interface. It's, it's part of what actually makes it really fun to use.